Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is Friday and I've decided today is junk mail day. Uh, here's my plan for today. I'm going to turn this big junk mail envelope, I'm using a big one, uh, and turn it into a six pocket folio thingy. Yeah, sounds cool, right? Yes, I just love turning a piece of paper that we would otherwise throw away in the trash and make it into something, well, pretty and cool and that we can use. I really enjoy making folios. I don't think I've ever made this model before that I'm going to try out today. So it is going to, it is an idea, guys. It's going to be sort of an experiment, but a safe one. It's going to be a safe experiment. Okay, for the supplies. Yes, let me tell you. Obviously, you need a big envelope. Now, I've opened my envelope on uh, this side, but maybe you have opened your envelope on the top. Doesn't really matter, guys, because uh, we're going to open it up on the top and on the side, I guess. So just one side is going to be closed, I think. But I do not know for sure. So a big envelope. I'm going to give you measurements. This is actually blum, 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 9 by whew, uh, 12 and a half inches. You don't need them this big, guys. Just, you know, any, any envelope. A, a little bit bigger one, of course. Basics. I'm going to use a ruler, a knife, glue... Scissors. I'm going to be doing some distressing inking and such. Uh, taking out two colors. For uh, decorating and such. Let me show you. I am going to use something from 49 The Market. Now this has been out for months guys. This is actually older. This is color swatch ink something. Inkwell. It, 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 it did say so on here. Inkwell. Inkwell. It's blue. Um, I bought this when I wasn't really familiar with, with 49 and Market yet. Now, I know there are two more uh, color swatches coming out. Peach and I believe it's called Grove. I'm really looking forward to it. And these are collage sheets. Collage papers? What's it called? Co collage sheets. Yeah. So, it is a very lightweight paper. It's not tissue paper, but it's very lightweight paper. And it has some fantastic images on here. I'm going to show you the back because here's what all the images um, are. And I've, I have not even used one of them. So, I'm going to uh, do some collaging on here. Um, decorating with ink, well, blue ink. Well, you don't need this, guys. Just, you know, we're going to collage with something. I've chosen this blue. I'm also going to be using uh, some washi tapes. Um, I have this long piece. It's actually a strip from uh, the Plus Minus collection. I have not used it before. I think it's going to be great. Great. So it's going to be neutrals and blues. So I've took, uh, taken out some more uh, neutrals and blues um, washi tapes. Uh, of course, I'm doing labels. Yes. So uh, this is from Michelle to Young Children Studio. This is Days Gone By in blue en bleu <laughs> as they say and uh, i'll probably add some more bits and bobs somewhere you know me uh midway i have a uh light bulb idea <laughs> like oh yes i can add this or this but let's see um you need uh, do it with um you know scraps you need pieces of paper and some tape you do need some tape yeah okay well let's start with sort of constructing the folio it's a huge envelope, guys, so I had to zoom you out. Now, envelope has two, let's say, two longer sides and two shorter sides. Now, one of the sides is already open because you probably opened it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the two longer sides and one of the shorter sides. You can do this with a paper trimmer or scissors. I'm going to do this with a knife. I'm just going to put my knife in between here. Yes, and then carefully, do not cut in your fingers, lovies. Yes. So I'm going to open it up like so. Yes, and also one of the other uh, longer sides. So two longer sides, two shorter sides. Now, if your envelope does have a window, yes, you need to take that into consideration where you cut it. Because if my envelope would have a, a, a window, I would want the window to be visible for one and also on the front cover. So take that into consideration with the next step. Okay, here's the plan. 
I've covered up my address, guys. Uh, the side that I've cut open, I am going to fold up into a pocket. Now, you can have the pocket all the way over there. I wouldn't just, you know, fold it up to make it into a pocket. Just sort of do what you feel, lovies. No measuring involved. Yes. Like so. I'm going to get a bone folder, yes, because these are lots of pieces of paper now. Yes. And then we're going to fold it in. Now, if your window is here, yes, fold this to the other side and have this on the front. So let's just pretend this envelope has a, has a window. Then my window would preferably be here, which it's not, of course, because, because I don't have a window. Because this is going to be the inside of the folio. And now I'm going to fold this up in half. Now I'm doing this the hard way with this already folded up. Does not need to be loved. Just fold it open and then fold it in half again. So fold this piece up and this piece in. Yeah. So if you have a window in your envelope, hopefully it's somewhere here now on the cover. So try to figure it out, guys. Yeah. Okay. Opening here, opening here. So we're going to have a pocket here, big pocket here, big pocket there. We're going to have a pocket here and a pocket here. So behind the flap and then um, using this flap to make pockets. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So that is basically the idea. Doesn't really matter how big your envelope is, guys. If you're going to work with a smaller envelope, uh, is there, the measurements are going to be smaller. That's basically it. So the construction. Yep. Uh, we're going to do uh, some more snippies and folding and such. Um, after we're going to decorate it? No, I'm going to do that beforehand. Making these pockets you can do in a couple of different ways, guys. You could just, you know, uh, glue them and have a notch here. But I think I want to make slanted pockets. Now, as you can tell, this is sort of the original flap that is coming loose. So I am... Going to glue this down first. Yep. Like so. So um, there's a fold here. I'm going to cut this fold. Yeah. All the way to the other side. From the top to the bottom. Make sure not to cut in this one. Oh, you could. It, it, it's okay if you do. I'm going to use my knife and a ruler for this. There you go. You think you have enough? A knife, love? Yes, I do. <laughs> Are we through all the layers? Well, lots of layers here. There we go. Yes. Folding it back again. So now we have, hopefully, there you go, two of these flappies. What I want to do is actually, I'm going to fold it open and then fold this into sort of a, a, a triangle. Yeah. So I'm going to do this. Yeah. So, pocket, pocket. Yeah. Simple, right? Yeah, it's very simple. Again. Okay. And fold this in. There you go. Pocket, pocket. I think I'm going to put glue here in the middle. But you could also cut this um, loose. So, you have sort of two separate pockets. But you could just put glue here. Or have it as a big pocket. That's okay. So we have one, two. And then these ones. Now, um, this entrance of the pocket is already reinforced now. I am going to reinforce the top here. And then the sides here. Yeah. So everything is nice and sturdy. If you put stuff in and out, it will not rip. So that's basically it. Before I glue all the pockets down. Yeah, I'm going to cover them with lovely papers. Now, let's say you do have a window, which I don't. I am actually a little bit sad. <laughs> I should have picked another envelope. If you do have a window, which is going to be here, yes. At this point, open open your whole project up. Yeah, and, and glue something here behind where the window is. Something nice, something decorative. So I don't have to do this. 
because I do not have a window. Okay, I'm going to leave it as is. Let's do some collaging, covering uh, pieces up with these beautiful papers. Take out your scraps, lobbies, digitals, book pages, whatever you want. Let's go glue some stuff down. I'm going to start with the outside, the cover, yeah? This is going to be the front of the cover, so keep that in mind. I've taken out some of these lovely papers, uh, and I want this to be the cover. See? Like so. So this is going to go on the cover. Yes, it's too short, but that's okay, because we're going to put other papers also here. Um, love this one. Blue marbled. So I'm going to have this over here and then we need a strip here is this long enough almost i really want this part of course so this is going to be glued over here i want this to go there and we need a piece here now also keep in mind guys there's going to be tape on this side washi tape on this side and washi tape on this side yeah, keep that in mind. I'm going to take a bit off. About here. You could rip it, you could tear it, you could do anything you want, lovelies. I think I'm going to have it sort of straight-ish. I'm going to try to do it straight-ish. Now I'm using my mat, and hopefully you have a mat, um, with all the, the grid on to cut it straight just line this dot up uh, with a line and line this with this line does it make any sense hopefully it does now i moved my ruler so that wasn't smart but it's not crooked really crooked crooked okay so this is going to be glued on here yes it's going to be glued on here it's going to overlap a little bit and then this is going to be glued on here. So we need a piece here. I'm going to take this off. Now I'm not putting um, a mark where this line is. Just a little bit over here because I do not want all the, you know, everything to line up. Where did I mark it? <laughs> no, I didn't see it. Where is it? Where is it? This here. This mark, love. This mark. Ruler. Hello, ruler. Somewhere. Yeah. So I need yet another piece of paper. That's quite all right. Okay. Okay. As you can tell, this is a little bit long, or that's okay. I'm going to flip it over. I'm probably going to try to flip this one over as well. Yeah, because it just leaves a nicer finish. We still need a piece here. I'm going to do something neutral-ish. Neutral-ish. What do we have here? Flora something. Is that wide enough? It is not. Let's see if we can find something different. Oh, I have this sort of map piece a little bit too big piece of this are you going to cut in it yes i'm just going to cut in it why not why not i have two i'm gonna do a larger piece i have two more um Collections are coming out, so I need to start using some up, guys. Yeah. Okay. It's going to go here. It needs to be a lot smaller. Oh, so exciting watching me cut stuff. There we go. Sort of like so. Great. Yes. So, I'm going to glue stuff down, guys. But, uh, on the on the top and, um, and the bottom, I'm going to have it stick out a little bit. Because I want to fold them over. Which makes for um, a larger finish, in my opinion. Not on the sides, because we're going to put tape here. So, I'm going to glue this on. Just using glue stick. 
No need for the fancy stuff. I'm even using the envelope as a glue page. Maybe you have some smaller pieces if you want to make a big collage or you have one big piece, whatever you want. My dears. There we go. Yep. Oh, no, no, a little bit higher. Higher, you wanted it higher. Did you listen to yourself? I did not. I did not listen to me. Uh, like half an inch, guys. Doesn't need to be like a lot. See, there's some stuff sticking out here now. I'm just gonna fold it over because it just leaves a nicer finish. A finish. So that's that's the reason why I'm doing this again. It's going to be upside down. That is that is a shame. I cannot even use the envelope anymore because it's already sticky. It's already sticky. There we go. Big pieces. Now you could use uh, another sort of glue, guys, if you have collage medium or something like it. By all means, use. I have never used uh, this paper, so I do not know how it will react with with um, Tim Holtz collage medium or whatever glue you use. So, it's going to stick out on the top. I am moving it all the way to the edge. There we go. Funny thing is, in this um, paper pack, let's call it a paper pack, there were lots of uh, Dutch pages in them. Yes, very old sort of antique uh, Dutch pages from books and such. I was like, wait a minute, isn't this Dutch? Yes. Some of them were Dutch, so like this one. It's very old Dutch, but this is all Dutch. Yeah, and this one. Dutch, all Dutch. Hm. Funny, funny, funny. Um, what else did we have? This one. Yep. Oops. I do want some of the darker blue bit, of course, on this side. Ooh. Uh, well, I'm going to glue it down for now. Yes. But this needs to be cut. Um, I'm not going to press in the middle. Yeah. I'm, this is going to be cut. So what are you going to do? I'm going to do this carefully, carefully. Just one layer. Just one layer. Yes. And then do this. See? Fixed it. Yeah. Great. Great. Last piece. Was it this one? Yep. I already like it. It's sort of something old, something new. Nothing borrowed, everything blue. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, the saying is it's for when you're getting married. I, I was... Um, I worked in the bridal industry for more than uh, 25 years, guys. <laughs> for over 25 years. So I'm going to put this here and here a little bit higher. Do not line everything up. Yes, move it up a little bit. And there you go. See, a little bit sticking out. That's okay. Flip it over. Flip it over. Yes, it's upside down, but we're probably going to cover it, guys. Okay. Outside, done. I'm going to move to the inside. Before I do all the pockets, I'm going to decorate this. It doesn't need to be all the way to the bottom, loves. Just I, I do need to uh, put it a little bit lower than where the pocket is just here. Because I might make a notch or, or something like it. So, the inside. For the inside, I want to use this. This looks like uh, Mr. Tim Holtz. Um, <laughs> you know, the paper that he did. What was it called? Palette. Yes, palette. I don't know which one was first, the palette or this one. So I'm going to glue this here. As you can tell, it is uh, longer than the pocket. So I'm just going to take off the 
bottom part. You don't have to, guys. Just glue it down. But I really love this paper. And uh, it's expensive enough. So I'm going to use every part of it. If I have the chance. So, yes. This one is going to go over here. I'm going to... I'm not going to glue it all the way to the top, guys. Just going to have it a little bit under the, the top edge. Because there's already such a nice finish. Um, I'm going to put it on the top. Because it will sort of start to, um, you know, fray or how you call it. Well, get loose. Yeah. So this is going to go here. And then I was thinking to put this sort of lovely image floral botanical image here is actually a little bit short maybe we can move it a little bit downwards oh yeah we can because i left a lot here yes okay so i'm going to well that's easy because there's already a line here cut this one so this one's gonna go here yeah Okay, I'm gonna glue this down. I've glued it down, yeah? Now, for the pockets, um, you're gonna flap this open. I'm gonna figure this out later. Let's just start uh, covering this whole piece. And I was thinking to use uh, this piece, but it is too small, but that's okay because we already have some scraps, right? So I was thinking to just put uh, scrappy bits here now i do want to do i want to flip it over or want to put tape there well, i'm just going to flip it over over just in case now if you fold this up see this doesn't need to go all the way to the bottom so i could move it up a little bit it won't even um show up so i'm going to put this here and then i'm going to put this mm, sort of oh, i'm going to put this over it yeah okay so i'm going to glue this down first i am going to flip it over so about yay much about yay much i'm going to cut through the lovely what is this crocuses 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 yes oh, i cannot wait till we have crocuses again that would be spring love let's do fall first let's have mushrooms first and owls and pine cones and such so, um, again, I am not going to overlap the side. I am going to overlap the top. So, this is going to go here and this is going to go there. So, I'm going to glue it on and then flip it over. Now, for the slanted pockets, this is going to be a little bit tricky, guys. I have not figured it out yet, but I think, I think it's going to work out. Uh, I've taken out this piece and I want to have the... Oh, this, this. I just love this. Yeah. So I'm going to cut it here. Yes, I'm just going to mark it here. And then I think I'm, I am going to flip it over. So I'm also going to cut it here. So let's do this first. And I think I want the other half to go on the other pocket. Well, that's, that is the plan. Here's one. And here's another one. So we have another scrappy. Yes, lovely scrappy. Okay, this is going to be glued on like so. Well, this is easy. You can flip this in, but then we are left with this piece, which is actually a small piece. Will we manage? Yes, it is. This is too big. I'm gonna cut a little bit off here. I'm just figuring it out now, guys. This is not something that I've done before. I'm just trying to figure it out. We have way too much over here. Let's just lose a bit. Okay. Here and here. I'm gonna flip this over, and then let's see if we can flip this over. It's probably gonna work. I don't know. Don't know. We'll figure it out. And if not, if it doesn't work, we're going to cover it up with tape. <laughs> I 
Okay, a little bit removed from the bottom because we have some lovely stuff there. I'm going to move it all the way to this side. I am going to put tape here for sure. Yes, this is going to be covered. Opening it up, folding this in. That worked. And oh yes, just fold this over, love. Fold this over. Putting on a little bit of extra glue. Did that work? Perfectly. No worries, because let me tell you why, why this worked, guys. This is very thin paper, so I could just fold it over, flip it over, whatever. Also, what I should have done, I'm sorry, I should have glued this down. There's still a little bit of room to glue this down. Yeah. So before I'm going to cover this, just glue this down. Yes. And there we go. And no worries. No worries. Now, uh, how are we going to do this? I really want the blue part to be on here, of course. So, um, this piece, I'm going to cut it here. And I'm going to cut it here. So, we have a lovely um, sort of bits and bobs on the top. I always struggle a little bit um, with these sort of angled flaps if you're going to cover them. But with this paper, see, that is just lovely, guys. Yes, you can make this into some sort of a label or, you know, this just you know, lovely. There we go. I will get questions. What do you use this for, the folio? Well, you know, to put lovely ephemera in. Just, you know, send it in happy mail or as a gift. You could also have this as a center of your um, journal signature. Or make a journal in the center. Do whatever you want to, loves. Okay, so this is going to be glued on. Oh, I love the blue. Well, I'm hoping you love the blue because everything is blue. I only bought this collage paper from that collection. Nothing else. I didn't even know it was a collection. This was on the front in the package and I thought that is interesting. Looks like Mr. Tim Holtz. It does. <laughs> Oh, I did not, um, I did not even cut it. That's okay, lovies, because, you know, it's quite all right. Yes, a little bit of glue here. Rip it up. No worries. Oh, it does look lovely. Doesn't it? Do we have everything covered? Yes, everything is covered. Now, um, tape. Yes, I'm going to use the tape. Where's the lovely tape? I'm going to use this and then maybe some of this. Let's see. Now for the tape, I am going to start on the cover, on the front. I'm using this tape. Use any tape you got, lovies. I just really love this tape and I was thinking to put it here. So first I'm going to cut it to size. Let's have this straight. Yes. This is a tape with a backing on it. So, matte pad tape, right? Yeah, that's that's the name of it. Yep. Now, I'm not going to glue it over the, this sort of entrance, of course. No, I'm going to glue it in. I'm going to glue it in. Now, you could have it half on or... Three quarters of the way or a quarter of the way. Whatever you want. Oh, I'm so rubbish with, with these tapes. There you go. There we go. Is there an up or a down in here? I think so. Uh, okay. Well, this. <laughs> I'm going to move it a little bit close towards myself, guys. Because otherwise, I cannot see. Now, hopefully, the straight. I do want the red on here. Yep. 
Yes. And now, this is a little bit tricky because we want to fold it to the inside of the envelope. I'm starting in the middle. Do not know why. I'm just starting in the middle. Hope, hoping you can see, guys. Just start in the middle. Yes. And then move towards a corner. Already know what I'm going to do with the other side. That's going to be less tricky. Just fold it in. Yeah. There you go. Very nice, smooth finish. I'm going to do one on the other side as well. I'm going to cut on this line. Yes. Now, the nice thing would to have this even, yes, that would be a, a nice thing. <laughs> to measure it out, I don't have no clue how you would do it um, on the tape and what have you. Okay, was this the right side? We don't even know. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. Okay, I'm going to stand up for this because I do want them to be... Equal. No, no, no. Can I take it off? Careful, love. Careful, 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 careful. Ooh. It is good tape, guys. I don't even need to re-glue it. Already know I don't need to re-glue it. You know what I need to re-glue this? There we go. So. Equal amount. Here and here. Yes. Now, before I uh, fold it in, I'm going to do this. I think. Just going to mite to the corners. Yeah. It's open. Love, it's open. Seriously? Seriously. Guys, you were screaming, right? Yes. Or you just do this. What? Okay. <laughs> or, you know, you just flip it open. Yeah. I was doing all sorts of tricks. Not necessary at all. But it does look amazing, right? Yeah. So, I'm also going to do these two sides. In a much do I have enough of this tape? I actually don't. I need to get uh, another piece out. That's okay because I have a whole roll of this. So I'm going to do it to this side and this side as well. Uh, put these tapes on, guys. Uh, I did not put any uh, it to the bottom, so I just cut it in half. And you know, because you don't need it to have it on the bottom, love. The taping, guys, is not going as planned. <laughs> now I want to put tape here. Yeah. I am not going to put tape over the two parts, just this one. Are you? Yeah, I think I think that'll be okay. But, you know, I might do it completely wrong. Um, this is much smaller tape, but that's quite all right. It's going to be fine. With, of course, numbers. Numbers. Maybe you should have cut it a little bit. No, no. It's going to be fine. I'm just going to snip. Here, start at the bottom. I'm going to use this line as sort of a guideline. Did I make it too short? No, you did not make it too short, love. There we go. And then we're going to flip it over like so. Does it look nice? Well, as soon as we cut it straight here oh yes look at the numbers oh that's the coolest thing ever now this tape guys i bought locally i have no clue uh what brand it is or where you can buy it 
some I, I am sorry for this because you're probably gonna want it because it's fantastic tape yes 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 great I'm not gonna put tape here you could if you want to you can put tape there but I don't think it is necessary at all this needs to be trimmed a little bit okay so now I'm going to glue um, these pockets down which means I'm going to put glue here in the center and here to glue this pocket down and then here and here to glue these pockets down. I'm going to use art glitter glue for this. Pockets are glued. I just now realized I didn't ink everything or anything. So no inking. No inking on this, but that's quite all right. So everything is glued down. We have a pocket here, 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 and the two big ones here. But now we need to sort of refold it. Make sure everything is dry, love is. Everything is dry. Uh, I am going to put my ruler sort of here in the center to feel where the fold is and gently try to fold it up again. I might ink sort of the outside here, but it isn't necessary at all. Did we do well on the inside? Yes, it's okay. It's actually okay. Very heavy now because of all the pockets and all the papers and all the tapes. Now I did not make a sort of spine in this. You could guys, if you want to, you could sort of leave like a quarter inch in the middle uh, to sort of sew in a signature if you want to, but that's not necessary at all. That's not necessary at all, no. It's a tall one, right? Yeah, it's like a tall skinny uh, sort of journal thing. Yes, uh, I have a big pocket here, a uh, big pocket here, pocket here and pocket here. I think it looks great. Are you going to make a closure? Maybe a simple one, just some string around it. Maybe, I do not know yet. Do you want to decorate it? Shall we? Yes, it's already lovely, but I want to do some decorating. I'm going to start with the inside. It's already so lovely, guys, but I really want to do a little bit of decorating. So I've taken out some labels and some of this washi tape. Now, it does sort of remind me of this. Again, something I bought uh, locally ages ago. I think it's going to look sort of lovely there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that number. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to do this. Scooch it in a little bit. Yeah, piece here, probably going to use it. Now, for some labels, for some labels, because, you know, I love my labels. I think I'm going to have one here that says the apothecary. And I need something here. To, um, hmm. Postage stamp? Postage stamp. This? I am going to ink um, the labels. Yes. Um, what glue shall I use? I'm, I'm going to use this. Not necessary at all, but it was nearby. Come on, Art. You've been gluing today. Some lovely little decorating. While I'm decorating, guys, um, let me share with you what's been going on on my channel. You might have noticed 27.5k subscribers. Yes! Well, probably by the time you see this. <laughs> um, which means time for a freebie, right? Because I always celebrate with a freebie, maybe a digital. Now, uh, I have no clue what I'm what I'm gonna make um but I'm gonna try so next week for sure 
there will be a new freebie hopefully monday hopefully i have some time this sunday to make some uh, a freebie and a digital yes so yay if you're not subscribed guys subscribe please subscribe ring the notification bell that's the bell icon just click on it what happens then every time i put out a new video you will get a notification on your telephone or your computer or what have you so you won't miss a video there you go put this here yeah does it need something i don't know let's do the other side first uh what am i gonna put here i don't know maybe something peeping here it's all these do we not have uh, something a straighter one yeah Just sort of peeking out. Yeah. Oops. Don't glue it on upside down. <laughs> a, a bit here. Something. Barcelona. Ayuntamiento, City Hall, right? Oh, let's do this one, yeah. I want to do it. I can do this one and then another poster stamp. I have these in blue. Do I have more blues? Oh, on the bottom here. I see a blue one. Elizabeth, there you go, love. Oh, and it's a fantastic blue with the... Yeah. Yes. Elizabeth's going to be on here. And there we go. Yep. And then... Oh, it also says River Thames. Thames. Yeah, that's... Uh, well, in England, for sure. <laughs> so I'm not going to cover that one up. No. The River Thames. London, right? There you go. Does it need more? Maybe, maybe here. Picking out here. going to why not was a big blank spot here yeah do not want to line this up or here or there <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out yes here or maybe you should stop. Maybe I should stop. Just in this bottom corner. Sure. These labels, guys, are from Michelle at the Junk Journal Studio. She's linked all the way to the bottom. She's always linked there because I'm on her design team. And it is labels days gone by. It's fantastic. And not saying it because I'm on her design team. I'm saying it because it's labels and it's numbers. And she made them for me. Well, probably didn't. But in my sort of imagination, she made them for me. Great, right? Yes. Is this, is this on the fold? Oh, yes. Now that's the smartest thing to do ever. Yes. Oh, yeah. I am so smart today. See this, guys? Move it a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I glued it on the fold. Uh, I think I'm going to try and cut it here. That's the best thing to do. Okay, let's. I'm going to concentrate first on the back. 
here. I also have some scraps left that I think I might use. Not, I'm not going to use the bigger pieces. Not this one. I'm thinking this because I love this. Maybe I want to have this over here. Yes, but that's the front. We're going to do the, the back first. Well, let's just do the whole thing, guys. Let's just do the whole thing. I think this is just very interesting. So I'm going to do this here. With probably a strippy of the tape as well. And a big label. Yeah. Just love. Just glue it on. Are you inking this? No, 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 no. It needs to be part of um, the background. Is it straight? Yeah, sort of straight. That isn't straight at all. No, 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 no. Yep. Big label there. Yes, big label here. Something smaller here. Inking. Oops. Stay here. Oh, yeah. There you go. Normally, I would round these corners because of the rounded label on the inside. To me, it makes more sense. But I'm not going to because nothing on here has rounded corners. Except for this circle. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have this on here. I'm alternating between uh, the glues. Um, the collage paper is very thin. I wouldn't glue it with art glitter glue. With wet glue. But that's why I'm using glue stick for that. And just art glitter glue for this. Yeah. Then we have a lovely one on the bottom. I don't think I have any more blue stamps. Great. Oh, well, this. Another Elizabeth? No, wrong color blue. Wrong color blue. Um, what is this? Oh, this is some blue with some red. No. No. I have these tiny ones from uh, Berlin. But these are very special. I only have a couple of them. So that's why I'm not using them. Oh, here, here are some blue ones. Yes, I have this one from France. No. Germany. And uh, well, some Dutch ones. And a lovely purple one. Okay, I don't know about this one, guys. I think that is just too bright of a color. Just Juliana on here. Or maybe... This French one. There's a bit sticking out. I think I like it. Yeah. Yes, and here's the other one. Does this line up? No, don't line up. We don't want you to line up. Well, it is what it is. That it for the back? Yes, let's do the front. So I want to have this piece of paper on here for sure. I'm going to have a bit here and probably a bit here as well. Um, I am going to have it straight, straight. There is sort of a line on here. So this is going to go here and then this here or just one strippy. 
I think I want to take off this sort of blank border here. Oh yes, much better. Oh yeah, it blends in now completely. Watch your knife, love. I don't even know, guys, if this is available anymore. I do apologize if not. Um, but, you know, use any paper that you like. Yeah. And then... Strippy here. Sort of like this strippy. With a label. Yeah, we have again this sort of blank space here. Let's just remove this. So yeah, we're gonna have this here. Maybe you have the Tim Holtz collage paper from uh, the palette collection. It has all sorts of these, so that would work. Okay, let's see where we're going to label it. We could do something like this and something like this. I really don't want to cover up the writing, of course. Too big. see it love it's going to be on the on the other side so don't worry about it not gonna worry about it put this here you worry too much don't worry so much it'll be fine see it's gonna go here i'm i do have um, a small piece of tape left right from this yes i'm gonna use this somewhere okay no poster stamp don't think so Yes, and then here. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, well, we need a new one. We need a new one there because we used that one. I'm gonna go for this one with my lovely queen. Not this color. Yes. There you go, Juliana. I'm going to go here. And this one's going to go there. We do need something on the top, right? Yeah, I think so. going to fold it in and see what it looks like. I don't like this color. I do like the size though. Hmm. Do I have some others? Yes, I probably do. Let's see. Yeah, I have these. These are the ones I did not cut out yet. Just want a small one. I do this one. Scissors somewhere. There we go. Do we want a darker one? Well, we're just gonna do it. Normally, I already have all of these cut out, but there were so many pages in here, 
and two colors. I downloaded the green and the, and the blue. Yeah. I, ju I just didn't have the time to cut everything out. The question is, is this too straight? Do we need... Um, not a piece of this. Yes, I do, but I want the circles and not the squares. Oh, yes, love this. Let's use this over here. On the bottom somewhere here. Does this work for me? No, no, that doesn't, this doesn't work for me at all. Can we put it somewhere here? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yes, no, maybe. Oh, just as a standalone here. Yeah. Are we done? I think we are, guys. I think we are done. Let me have a quick look. Can you believe just an hour ago this was like a junk mail envelope? It's just the coolest thing ever. Yes, I just put a little bit of string around it um, to have it as a closure. It uh, doesn't need it at all, guys. If you want to. If you want to. I just added one more thing. Now, this is the cover. Yes, I love all the blue. So cool. With a lovely collage. Then you open it up. Yep. I've taken out a big tag uh, because you have a pocket here, you have a pocket here and a big one here that you could put all sorts in, guys. Just all sorts. Uh, and the same on the other side, of course. So one, two, three, four, five, six pockets, one envelope. I just added this because I had the strippy left and I thought it looked cute. Um, no inking, no inking. But it would look lovely with inking. And then this is the back again with the lovely all sorts. Yeah, really cool. Really cool. So guys, that's it for today. Um, I hope you all will have a fantastic weekend. Um, and uh, be sure to watch on Monday. Because Monday, I'm going to have a freebie for sure. And I am working on a, a digital kit. So hopefully that'll be finished by then so um if you're not familiar with my digitals and my freebies they're on my ko-fi or ko-fi or you, however you want to call it it's linked below guys go there because i have lots of freebies for you to download uh have a fantastic weekend and i'll see you monday until then bye guys